Hello and welcome back. Today we're taking a look around the anti-aircraft battery that was used during the First and Second World War located on the uh, River Humber. Come with me let's take a look around. So here we have look what looks like to be um, an old magazine or something like that. There's no entrance to it. It's all overgrown. Um, Semi torch in there see if we can see anything through this gap here. You can't really see anything. It's flooded in there. Quite big to be honest. Let's go take a look over here. They've got some more remains of something in there. Um, it's really overgrown in here. So there's one of the uh, gun batteries. This site has two of these structures. A lot of it's been demolished by the looks of it over the years. Quite a big structure. Looks like an original manual cover or electric electrical cover box. So built in the First World War, converted in the second. This looks like one of the magazines just underneath the gun. So there's been a rack along there. Shelving unit. Not sure what this is. I don't know what it might look to it at one point. This is the other side. Originally there's been a staircase going up onto the uh, top there, up to the gun. Can't get up there at the moment without a ladder. Let's go take a look at that one.
see some of the reinforcement bars there. Different to the uh, Second World War type. This one's still got some of the original bars on the window, where the window would have been. Yeah, so it's just the same as the other one. Another magazine. Men's of a shelf there. Let's go take a look see what other buildings is around here. So we've got this building here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, so this is where the generator would have been for the gun battery. You can see the plinth there. Got a bit of a channel at the bottom. That was for uh, any excess oil or fuel that would leak out. They can catch that. There's a little bit where it comes out of. Been a big generator that would. Here's the outside of it. There's something there. Maybe drainage or where the power cables would have gone down who knows so here we have another structure as you can see this time of year everything's uh, fully grown up so it's a bit tough going through all this Let's see how we can get in there. Going up a bit of a bank here. Here we go at the side of it. Got a view there across the fields. Another window. Ah, here's the entrance. So it's just an empty room. Possibly a guard room. You got a view out that way. View out this way. This is on the perimeter of the uh, site, so possibly guard room or something like that. 
Let's take a look over here. Another structure here. Really thick concrete. Unsure of what this is. Also destroyed. There's the view of the back of it. Not really much to see, it's heavily overgrown so you can't really get in. Go take a look this way. Here's the remains of a defensive position. Pillbox type on the top there. Loopholes. 360 degree fire. Same, it's been demolished. Let's go take a look around the back. Yeah, this has been destroyed after the war. Maybe blown up. Something like that as a training exercise. One more view of it that way. Let's go further on and see what else there is. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.